Let's be honest, you suck at this game. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love you. But I also sucked at this game. Until I did these seven things and a bonus thing, which made me an all-round better player. So, if you want to become a better player today and have a ton of fun, I suggest you subscribe to the channel down below, comment what you want to see in the next video. Without further ado, let's jump into these seven best tips that I can give you as a new player that will turn you from an absolute beginner into an amazing being that killers actually hate to chase. Tip number one is don't idle, use your time wisely. This game is a race against the clock and as the match lasts longer, the percentage of killer one games increases. A perfect illustration is a plunderous video I have on the channel. Definitely recommend you watching that one after this one. In that video, the team took way too long to fix all of the generators. Things got messed up, they tried to save, all of them together came in. But you, after these tips, you can be the best teammate ever. Because the killer will have their time wasted by chasing you. Otherwise, you might spend every single second you can on generators or you are saving your teammates. But as I just said, you are trying to get as many people to do as many things in the game. That's why saving is so important because one player is eliminated from the match while being hooked. But as I said, don't be scared and make sure that you do something. The second tip from the seven that will make you a better all-round player and all others in the moon's noob class is no location of generators. What? Are they not random? Well, to a certain degree, but if you look up, you can actually spot the lights of the generators. This is an extremely useful tip for new players. If you see one of them, make your way over there and fix it. Now, the plenty of you know this already, but we are going over everything that new players need to know. So stay tuned, more advanced tips will definitely be coming. Some maps also have fixed generators which always spawn in the same spot. So knowing them and getting on them as soon as you jump into the games make you a better player. Tip number three has to do with this as well. You may have heard of the three gen strategy that killers use. In this strategy they try to leave three generators that are close to each other so that they can check them easily without wasting a lot of time. See? Time is a key word here. My tip for you is make sure you don't fix all the generators that are next to each other. But wait, you said don't waste time, I need to get to the next generator as soon as possible. Great that you're listening, but the three gen strategy will have you running around in circles and actually giving you a hard time to escape. Another great way to make sure that this doesn't happen is by fixing the most dangerous generator first. These generators are often the ones in the open or the middle of the map. In the early game there will be many generators and the killer might not even check it while you fix it because they don't expect anybody to do it. They expect the people to spawn at the outside of the map and fix generators over there. But not us. Moon Empire is smarter than that. Big brain plays. The fourth tip I have for you today is learn how to hit great skill checks. As you just saw in the video, I'm pretty good at this, but I wasn't at first. And no matter how often I miss the great skill checks, from the beginning I always went for them. I never meant to hit the safe zone. I'd rather m miss it and become better than constantly play on the safe side of the street. Guys, of course, don't cross the street as cars are running, but don't play safe when it comes to Jennies. You need to learn this and then the more often you hit those great skill checks, the faster everything is going to progress. So, make sure that you do that and you will become a better player. And I think that those first four tips and definitely in the great skill checks you can instantly become better in like a week if you're trying real hard maybe even a day I don't know how talented you are but I assume that you are one of those amazing human beings because you are already subscribed to the channel okay so now you know not to waste any time and how to hit skill checks you're probably around rank 14 ish if you're new and if you want to make that commitment and get to at least rank 10 then follow these tips Tip number five that I have for you today to make you a better player is we are going to hunt for the killer. What? Yes, we are going to find the killer and let it chase us. Just like the last tip, if you are getting experience in, you are going to get better. And if you want to get better, you're going to need to be able to let the killer chase you for about a minute or two if you, you know, want to become an expert. 
If you want to see the best perk setup for a killer chase, then definitely check out my other videos and let me know down below that you want an updated video. But during the time that he chases you, the other generators in this race against the clock are fixed by your teammates. At least that is if you don't go down within 50 seconds and cry for your mother for help. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so tip number six that I have for you is now that the killer is chasing you, what do we do? Well, tip number five comes in. What you want to do in the chase is look behind you while you run. This might get a little bit, uh, you know, difficult and tricky, but you need to practice to at least look behind you every now and then. Some of you know this, some of you don't. The nurse is actually slower than a survivor, so if she doesn't use her skill, you will always make distance. So, looking behind might not be the number one priority against her, but the other killers are faster than you, and you need to look behind you because they might cut you off. Tip number seven, lucky number seven if you will, you are now keeping the killer distracted and you are good at looking behind you, now it is always important to have an escape route in mind while you're working on the generators, while you're searching chests, while you're doing god knows what, maybe you're taking a bathroom break, you want to have the escape option when the killer comes from the left, what am I going to do? But if he comes from the right, where will I walk then? You need to have this in mind and the best things you can do is either loop them through pallets or try and you know run into a building maybe jump down if you have the perks for it but if you want to in that looping guide then definitely let me know down below I will gladly make it for you if you just ask for it and the last little bonus tip that I have for you is number eight the bonus here we go I, I almost can't wait to say this but if you want to become better then I suggest you subscribe to the only place where you can get all those tips, all the fun gameplays. You can ask me for a video down below and I'll consider making it. If you want an advanced tutorial on fast faulting pellets, what more, then just like this video. Guys, subscribe to the Moon Empire, to the Moon YT YouTube channel and you will become better before you know it. That's it. Those are the seven tips that I used, that I found, that are made up by a new player to the game and they will help you as well. Who better to illustrate how to get better at a game for beginners than a ex-beginner? I'm just saying, somebody with a thousand hours or two thousand hours into the game, he might not know it anymore. But we are new and we are telling you everything that we know about the game. Want to know even more about the game? Then check out these two videos. I made them for you. I also make videos on Heroes Evolved. So if you are into that, then definitely go check it out. We are not going to stop until we're on top. We are the Moon Empire.